give it will be given to you a good measure pressed down shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured to you luke chapter 6 verse 38 i don't really give much attention to this verse although i heard it so often until i experience it then that's the time i realize what it's really meant Time passed so quickly, I didn't realize that it's been 3 years since I joined the ANCO program. A friend of mine introduced me to this program and asked me if I care about sponsoring or helping those deserving children in the Philippines who wants to study but unable to afford it. And without any further discussion, I said yes. So. For three years, I've been sending money to this uncoped education program. When we give from the heart, we didn't expect anything in return. It may return, it may not. But in my case, I didn't expect that God will return to me a hundredfold of those few dollars I've been given to this program. I would like to share with you my story. A year ago, I was diagnosed of acoustic neuroma. It is a benign tumor that develops on the nerve that connects the ear to the brain. The tumor usually grows slowly. As it grows, it presses against the hearing and the balanced nerves. At first, you may have no symptoms or mild symptoms. They can include loss of hearing on one side, ringing in ears, busyness and balance problems. The tumor can also eventually cause numbness or paralysis of the face. If it grows large enough, it can press against the brain, becoming life-threatening. Mine is a bit large, so the doctor said I need to undergo surgery as soon as possible. At that news, I felt numb, then cried, then later I asked the doctor what will be the complications. Point blank, she told me that I may lose hearing of the affected ear, or I will have a balance problem, or the side of face that is affected will become paralyzed. With this thought, it scares me to death. I am so scared. I have no family to be with me. I brace myself to go on with the procedure. It was scheduled on November 14, 2013. A priest friend visited me, gave me blessings, prayed for me, and then I entrusted everything to the Lord. The surgery lasted for more than eight hours. Then when I wake up, I felt right away that the blessings of God started pouring in. I worried about the complications, and there I am. I came out okay from the recovery room. I can hear, I can move my face, which the doctor feared that I will be paralyzed. I worried about family to take care of me, but there I wake up with friends who take turns to be with me during the surgery until I finally able to go home. Then, at home, they take turns to come by my house to help me and cook for me. I worried about money, and there, I got help from the government and some private institution which I am connected to. In fact, I got help more than I anticipated. Hindi talaga nagpapabaya ang Diyos. Alam niya ang pangangailangan natin. He sends me friends and resources when I needed them. And as my way of thanking God for all the blessings He had and is still giving me, I will continue to be a part of this ANCOP program and may this program continue to grow and may your sponsors continue to multiply so that you may help more children to fulfill their dreams.